Hello guys, welcome to EC Electronics. Today I'm going to give you a recruitment news on the very latest recruitment which is going to happen for URO Center of Bangalore. Again, there is a notification from ISRO. The, uh, the notification and the application link is already active and the last date is very, very nearby. So that's why I just wanted to pass this recruitment news to those who have not yet applied for this post. Okay, so there's a lot of, there is a series of examination for technical assistant post is going is happening and going to happen for a lot of centers for ISRO and we are doing preparation classes for the same also there's a lot of vacancies for technical assistant electronic post for various centers so the latest one was LPSC next there is exam going to happen for HSSC then after that SDSC then VSSC now the recruitment news is out for URO center Bangalore location okay so again so not only for uh, technical assistant but there is a lot of recruitments going to happen for scientific assistant library assistant technician and there is a lot of other posts and vacancies now uh, in this video I would like to pass on this recruitment news mainly for scientific assistant and technical assistant electronics okay so for specifically technical assistant electronics there is 17 post and for scientific assistant electronics there is one post Okay, so let us see what is the qualification, what is the age limit, salary details and everything for the post of technical assistant. Okay, so the, um, uh, the selection process of scientific assistant and technical assistant is almost the same. Okay, so the qualification is only different. Uh, for technical assistant post, as you all know, as you uh, have maybe have applied for this post, you'll be knowing that the requirement is first class diploma in electronics. Uh, from a standard or a, a state board okay or from a, a university which is uh, as per the qualification requirement so uh, the uh, qualification for the post of scientific assistant is first class in BSc electronics so that is a basic difference now uh, for the post of technical assistant if you are speaking as I said earlier the vacancies is 70 post for electronics and for scientific assistant it is only one post is there for scientific assistant. Anyway, you can try for this post because the salary offering is very, very decent and very, very high. The age limit is from 18 to 35 years. Okay, there is a pay scale of 44,900. So this is a basic standard package. All the ISRO locations are offering from 44,900 or above. I have generally seen all the notifications with minimum this much of uh, this much of pay scale that is 44,900 which is a very very decent package as per my view okay that is per month 44,900 per month plus allowances now the age limit as I said it is from 18 to 35 years so in between this age limit if you belong to in this age limit and if you have a first class diploma in electronics you can apply for this post also, there is an age relaxation for five years. That is five years age relaxation is allowed for SCST and also for OBC. If you belong to OBC category, three years of age relaxation. And also there is age relaxation details for ex service and other economically backward sessions also. So I'll be uh, giving the link of this notification and uh, the link for applying below this uh, that is in the description box. Anyway, you should know that the age limit, the standard age limit for general category is also from 18 to 35 years. The last date for applying for this post is 6th of March. Okay, so there is time. If you have not applied, please apply for this. There is a lot of vacancies. There is a lot of openings for all the locations of ISRO for technical assistant. Especially they are uh, calling for technical assistance with a lot of vacancies. So there is a golden opportunity for you. Again and again, if you have missed out any notification, now there is a chance for you. Please to apply for it. Okay. The last date is 6th of March. Okay. So there is time. Now, whether there is any fees for applying for this post? Yes. For general category, there is 250 rupees. But the fees is exempted for, that is, there is no application fees for female candidates, SEST, X service, then if you are a person with some disabilities and also economically weaker session. So as, as per all the general criteria, this is also applicable for these set of people that they don't have any application fees. For male candidates and they, if they belong to, and if you belong to the general category, there is application fees, but that is only 
very much minimal 250 rupees only okay now how to pay this uh, money how to transfer this money all these things you can find in the description uh, that is the notification i'm going to give now for the uh, there's a lot of questions being asked uh, to me that is through the comments there's a lot of people asking doubts that ma'am what will be the exam uh, that is where will be the exam location when is the exam going to happen when the uh, admit card will be available so see these all details only you can know through the sites they'll be giving uh, some notifications for the recruitment and then they will be doing some pre-screening based on the application that will be coming right see there's a lot of people will be applying for this post because there is a fees exemption also for female candidates and also for some reserved categories a lot of applications will be coming from all around the india and from these lot of applications coming they cannot call all the people for the examination they'll be doing some pre-screening techniques or some pre-screening they'll be applying and they'll be selecting a group of people only for those group of people they'll be sending the admit cards right that is based on the the percentage of mark in your diploma or the, all, all those things will be the criteria for selection okay that is called pre-screening they are they have uh, clearly written about this pre-screening in the notification also okay we'll come to that anyway just know that the application fees is 250 now the location for examination so that was the next thing which i was going to talk about location for examination is bangalore location only it is also specifically given so if you are going to write this examination if you are interested in applying for this post please have this thing fixed in mind that the examination that is a written test and the skill test is going to happen in bangalore location only because the center that you are a c is your house center is in bangalore so you have to travel to bangalore to write the examination okay anyway you can do this much for this much of salary right i think it is a good thing now so the location of examination is bangalore now what is the selection process it is a standard selection process same as for all the other locations the selection is based on first one an initial pre-screening this pre-screening is for making a group of people select for writing the examination okay there is an initial pre-screening and this screening is done based on your mark percentage in diploma as i said earlier see there's a lot of applications going to come anyway because it is a central government so there's a lot of people going to apply and all the people cannot be called to write the examination they won't have much facilities to accommodate all these group of people some 20,000 or 30,000 people will be applied so it is difficult for them so uh, they'll be doing some pre-screening and in this pre-screening they'll be selecting the people or screen the people based on the percentage of mark in the diploma okay so after selecting these people they'll be calling these selected people from the pre-screening to write the first stage of examination which is a written test so the second process is written test and in the written test they'll be giving you some question paper omr based examination and this omr based examination after writing they'll be setting some cutoff mark based on the level of examination based on the number of people who have applied and also based on the uh, based on the marks coming they'll be giving some cutoff and they'll be selecting some people uh, in the first part that is in this written test then they'll be calling these selected people from the stage one to the stage two which is the skill test so that is a second stage okay so what all things is going to happen first one initial pre-screening then from the pre-screening they'll be selecting some people for the written test then from the written test they'll be setting some cutoff mark and then they'll be calling these people for the skill test now a lot of other things is going to that is being asked to me regarding the skill test so i have done a detailed video on skill test i'll also share the link in my description box anyway if you are not familiar with this word skill test let me just tell you the skill test is nothing but a practical knowledge test see if you are getting selected to this job you have to do some things in the laboratories right so you should have a practical knowledge so for that 
they are going to test you based on your basic knowledge in your laboratories. That is, they'll be testing you based on the laboratory knowledge which you have done in your diploma course. Okay, so in diploma, you'll be doing a lot of lab experiments in various subjects, various labs, digital electronics lab, devices lab, circuits lab, soldering things. These things, they'll be testing and they'll be giving you some experiments. So they will be giving some experiments for you to do and you have to gain 60% mark in this skill test. That is, you can call the skill test as a practical or a lab exam. Okay. Just like after your theory exam, you have to do lab exam in your college also, right? In semester exams also, you have to do the same thing, right? Similarly, in, uh, in the ISRO technical assistant selection process also, you have to face the same thing. After the written examination, you will be, if you are selected, you will be called for skill test, which is a lab exam. In the lab exam, out of 100 marks, they will be conducting the lab exam. There will be viva also for some marks. You have to score including the lab exam and the viva, you have to get 60 percentage of marks. That is 60 marks out of 100. Now, if you get 60 marks means you are being called for the final selection or you are getting into the third stage, which is a final selection. And in the final selection, your selection process is done based on the marks of written test only. So what is the importance of this skill test is just to make you pass to the final selection. I am receiving a lot of doubts, a lot of comments. That's why I'm explaining it again and again. In the notification, it is clearly written that the skill test is nothing but a go or no go type of selection thing or a, or a criteria they are keeping. If you get 60 percentage, you are just getting through the, the door. That is, you are just passing on to the next stage. In that final stage, you will be selected. That is, whether you are getting the job or not is decided based on your mark in the written examination only. And if there is some tie happening, consider that two candidates uh, have passed the skill test and they are in the final selection process. They have some tie. Some two candidates are having some tie in the written exam also. Then what they will do is they will now go for your marks in diploma. Okay. This is also being clear, clearly written. That's why I'm saying. Okay. So if there is some tie happening in the final stage, then this tie breaker is actually your marks you have secured in your diploma or your percentage of mark in diploma. Okay. So that is also important. So I hope that I have given you a crystal, crystal clear idea about this thing. Anyway, I'll, uh, as I said earlier, I'll share the link of the skill test video in the description box also. Okay, so this is all about the selection process. I hope it is clear. I'll say it once again. Pre-screening, written test, then skill test. After skill test, there is a final selection based on written exam mark. Okay, I hope everything is clear now. So... This is all about the recruitment. So how many vacancies are the, uh, is there for the technical assistant post? There is 17 vacancies. There is a very, very high package. The last date is 6th of March. So please do apply as soon as possible. And also the female candidates, I would uh, suggest all the female candidates who have first class diploma, please do apply for this as soon as possible because it is free. And also for the SCST, economically weaker sessions and disabled and those reserved categories. I would uh, request you to please do apply for this post. There is nothing as uh, application fees for you guys. And if you are uh, belonging to the general category and you are a male candidate also, there is only 250 rupees. Okay, you can uh, give it a try because the examination from the previous year question paper still February 23rd. There was a, that was the la latest examination. There is not much difficulty if you know the basics, if you have practiced some questions. Okay, anyway, we are doing a lot of videos for preparing for the post of technical assistant. We are doing question answer videos. We are doing uh, subject wise videos. We are uh, doing topic wise videos. So please do subscribe to the channel also if you are interested in writing the examination and if you have applied for the post. And if you have not applied for your Rao Center, please do apply as soon as possible. Okay, so that's all about the recruitment. From today onwards, we'll be uh, doing these uh, recruitment videos also because I'm receiving a lot of requests from various people that please ma'am mention some 
some recruitment videos that is if if there is some recruitments you guys are missing out please do inform yes i'll be doing that uh, that also from today onwards i'll be sharing all the recruitment news for electronics specifically and also other important recruitments okay so if you are interested in uh, watching these videos on electronics preparation for examination especially competitive examination especially please do subscribe to the channel and also if you are interested in watching the recruitment videos also please do subscribe to the channel so i hope that this video was informative please do like it if you like if you found it useful and also please do share this video and if you want more videos please do subscribe to the channel thanks for watching and keep on watching